Hey everyone, I installed this aftermarket steering wheel on my 1993 Toyota MR2 non-turbo with the working horn. This method does not require you to drill any holes or damage any of the structural integrity of these plastics right here. Everything is intact and everything we are installing can be cut off with a pair of scissors. And with that being said, this is how it looks like with the steering wheel off. This is just a hub adapter. If you guys are interested on my setup, I'll leave the products down below in the description. But let's go on and look at the setup here. Alrighty, let's start from the very bottom. Here is our old cloth spring wire harness that I cut off and what you're going to see is four wires in total they're all color coded and what we need to connect is this green wire so we need this green wire to touch the back brass ring in the very back of this ed hub adapter right here you can't really see it you see right there touching where is it right there what about the rest of these wires well we don't do much with these we just seal them off here's how it looks like with some heat shrink that I that I used I left this white one off just so you guys can see how it looks like. I'll be doing that later. You also need a brass wire that's really stiff but easy enough to manipulate. Um, here you can see that I used two zip ties to secure it. If that, it's not going to move at all. And let's follow this see where it goes it goes between there it pretty much pinches it in place i pushed it in there's another zip tie here behind this middle tab there's a recess you can fit this tiny uh, zip tie and from here i pretty much bent it towards the brass ring and that connects the entire circuit Here's how it looks like with the circuit completely connected. I'm using this wire, brass wire, as a jumper wire because I don't have one of these. I need to go to the hardware store and buy one. But just to prove to you guys that this method works, 